Welcome. The subject of this video is using digital output optocouplers with Arduino or PIC or whatever you want to use it with. We're going to be covering the basics of this different collection of optocoupler circuits. I'm your host Lewis Laughlin. Please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. This is the outline of the H11L1 digital output optocoupler. Again, we normally have an infrared LED input. This is somewhat different than, say, a transistor output. This is a photo detector, a Schmidt trigger, and it requires a connection to VCC from 3 to 16 volts. It has an open collector output and then it has a ground pin. So you really just have three output connections, but you do require to have uh, 3 to 16 volts. There's a ground and there's a digital output. And this is a clean square wave due to the Smith trigger. This is just a test circuit. This is handy for noisy signals that may cause problems for an uh, Arduino or whatever you're feeding it to to read. Here's a little closer look at it. This is the integrated circuit. This is another test circuit that shows your electrical connections and a pull-up resistor known as RL. Connect it to 5 volts. It'll give me a 5 volt clean 5 volt digital output. And here are my pin connections. Here is the equivalent circuit um, that I actually constructed using a standard transistor output optocoupler. In this case, the LED turns on, the photo transistor switches on, produces a low. This is a 74C14 Schmidt trigger inverter. It will go high, it will switch on. Uh, it will switch on Q1, which then goes low. Equivalent circuit, you could build one yourself if you wanted to. It's hardly worth it. What uses do we have for the H11L1? Well, we can interface computer terminals to various peripheral equipment, digital control of power supplies, a line receiver that eliminates noise, that way uh, different devices can communicate with each other. You can use this for the digital control of motors and other servos, machine applications, logic to logic isolator. You can use this as a level shifter. So you can go from TTL level on say Arduino to CMOS level say 12 or 15 volts. Neat makes a very nice interface circuit. This is another type of similar optocoupler. It's the FOD8193. This is a strictly 5 volt device. This breaks out a little bit better what's in the other circuit minus the Smith trigger. We have our optical emitter. We have a uh, photodiode detector, a type of op amp and an open collector output. This is what is meant by open collector. The coll you, it goes to a switching transistor that's connected to ground and when there is a high output it, the transistor will switch on and VO or V out will go low. This is another type optocoupler of this type. This is a 6N137. Again these would be used in things like, uh, let's just say, the control system in an automobile or a truck, where you have lots of noisy mechanical s switching sensors, and this would clean it up to a digital sync signal. It goes from 12 volt sensors over to dig 5 volt digital output. Here is your truth table. Here is your breakout circuit for this. As you can see, once again, you have a pull-up resistor. This is a test circuit. You can put in a pulse generator. 
and these things have a fairly good frequency response. This is the TLP2662, same thing as you saw before, but it has a pair of emitters and a pair of detectors, or two separate unit or two separate emitter detector output pairs in the same package. This is closer to what's in the TLP2622. This is the breakout. Um, this again, of course, VCC is a 5 volt device. I'm not sure what the collector output collector voltage could be. You need to check the spec sheet. Again, we have the infrared emitter, a photodiode detector, an amplifier, and a switching transistor. This is off or on. So that was just a quick run around with the uh, digital output optocouplers introduce you to a few of them. I know it's a simple uh, video, but these devices will come in handy and we'll have other videos featuring them later on. Be sure to visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com and thanks for listening.